It's not over yet. But Liverpool have to win all their games. So look, man, first off, congrats to your boy Pep. They were always going to do this, but like, I think this was made fully official, you know. Um, and it's, 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 congrats to Man City. Three and four years. Um, and I think this was, it was a surprising season because for me, it's a case of what should have been. Because again, before the season, we thought, man, like City and Liverpool, they've, gone so hard like look at what City did in that 98 point season where Liverpool took them to the very last day that's company goal then you look at the very next season like what was Liverpool did so I think we were expecting that man these are and that was what we thought okay new decade Liverpool and Man City this is gonna be the Barcelona Real Madrid this is gonna be like the new title race but injuries happened to Liverpool the attack was for, Garbage Salah was was carrying this this team and this was pretty much a one team league because you never no one ever really believed that United were gonna do this. So I mean what does it say for the Premier League in the coming season? Is this if is this a fruit sellers league? Shout out to the farmers, but is this a fruit sellers league right now? Is this a league for fruit sellers? Because if City keep on strengthening and keep on getting stronger and Liverpool don't reinvest or so forth. Um, I don't see anybody stopping Pep or City. I just see them con continuing just to completely dis destroy and dismember the, the, this league. Because remember, they did get 100 points and 98 points. So who knows, can they get 103, <laughs> 105 for all? So, um, but the Premier League always surprises. It was surprising that Liverpool would do this badly. Um, it was surprising that, that City would be so easily out in front. Um, so, I don't know. I believe that we're going to get a shocker. Maybe if Chelsea make a big signing, maybe Chelsea do something. Maybe if United make a big signing, it will do something. I don't think that it's going to be a case of, oh, City is just, just going to dominate for the next few years. I do feel that if Liverpool don't get their acts together, maybe Chelsea or United, because of the kind of money that the Premier League gives you, if they make a big signing, maybe they'll come in and, and say, what's up? Now, Liverpool. Liverpool are in a very difficult situation right now. Shout out to Leicester City. Now, deserve doesn't mean anything. It's, it's whoever does the thing deserves it. But I always I try to root for the underdog, you know. And I feel that for Leicester City, it would be a shame after all their hard work if they couldn't go through. And here's the thing: if Liverpool don't make it, do you know who Liverpool should should, should blame? United fans. Those United fans that broke into that stadium. And maybe this was their plan. I got it. This was their plan. United, they didn't want to change anything with the Glazers. They're happy with, with the Glazers. Oh, say, can you seek by the Don's Elite Knights? They're happy with, with the Glazers. All right, man, I'm going to get my donut, you know. Hey, America, USA, the United States of America. I mean, we love you. Okay, let's ride. Okay, all right, baby. Let's go. All right, hamburgers. So, they like America. They like the Glazers. They like the red, white, and blue. This was a plan all along. They wanted to go in so that the game would be postponed. So this would mean that there would be a fixture congestion. Therefore, United would be forced to play um, orphans in the game against Leicester City. Lose that game and therefore go full strength on Liverpool. So this was all about stopping Liverpool. Because if Liverpool don't come through, they should be angry with United fans. Not United so actually, his hands were, 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 were tight. Fixed your congestion. It was those <laughs> thugs that um, caused the, this whole thing to ha happen. So blame those United thugs. So Liverpool should be angry at those dudes, but I feel they had ulterior motives. No, <laughs> it's not over yet. But Liverpool have to win all their games. Like, for them to have a good chance, they have to win all their games. Leicester City just... I believe Leicester City just need to win one of their, their games. So either the Chelsea game or the Tottenham game, just need to win, win, win one of those. And obviously, you want to just focus on all of them, but I think Leicester City are like, okay, Chelsea, that's going to be a tough one. And it's weird because they face them straight after the FA Cup game. So Leicester City will now know, okay, what we now need, need to do in the after the FA Cup game because they know that this ends the freaking rookie who got pimped out by, by them. This is not going to be, this is a very difficult team to score against and to, and, and to be. But then they have Tottenham final day of the, of the season. So Liverpool, United, West Brom, Burnley, 
than Crystal Palace. Funny thing about Crystal Palace, weren't wasn't Palace the same team who um, messed up Steven Gerrard's very last game? Like it was supposed to be the, the final game for them to go through, and Palace came and just beat the, the crap out of them and messed up Gerrard's very last game for Liverpool. So Palace can do that. So, but for Liverpool, they have to look look at these games as see, see if Liverpool can get like if if they can beat United, that's going to be huge. But but United full strength. But this team not playing full strength are very hard to beat and it's as old Trafford. So if they can get a draw, they can get a, a bit of a hope. But if they lose that game, because I believe if they lose that game, the most the maximum they can get is 66, which is what Leicester City are on. Because the maximum they can get now is 69. So le- for Leicester City, see, all Leicester City need are four points. So if they can avoid a defeat against Chelsea and beat Tottenham, they are Gucci. What, and it doesn't really matter what any, anyone else does. Liverpool have to win all their games. You know, and it's been such a crazy season. They just might. <laughs> you know, it's been such a crazy season that they just might, like, they may just be able to come in and just say, what's up? So, because my thing is, it would be a disaster. If Liverpool, if Liverpool were to, um, if Liverpool end up out of the top four, it would be disastrous. It would be disastrous. And you say to yourselves that, do you really see, do you really see any way in which, um, Salah would stay, but then people say, okay, who can enforce that? But that would be difficult. Salah would find a difficult, wow, a season in Europa. And then my thing is that then what acquisitions are being made? Because remember, the Premier League is only going to get tougher and tougher and tougher. Who knows what West Ham are going to do, especially if West Ham end up getting Tammy Abraham. Who knows what Everton can do if they now um, there's now investments toward, towards them. So, but look, man, it's it ain't over yet. I mean, what if they beat Man United? Because, see, for me, I don't really care about form. People say, oh, they're not beating them. Like, oh, they you know, have a great record. They're really good at Old Trafford. That doesn't mean anything to me. In football, football is the land of surprises. <laughs> it's, okay. it's, it's the land of the unexpected. But it's just that Liverpool have just been so out of form that, see, see for me, West Brom, they should beat West Brom. Come on. Burnley, that's dicey. That's all up and down. That's up and down, you know. And also, Burn- and, I mean, the, the lucky thing, though, is that Burnley are not... They won't really play with that extra kind of fervor because, you know, they've um, avoided relegation. But then you always fear the team that has nothing to play for because they cannot play more freely. Liverpool will have all the pressure on them. Um, so, so, yeah, so... so Because, yeah, that Burnley game away, it's up and down. It's up and down. That Burnley game away, it's up and down. And then you then have... The final game um, happening against Palace, which is at home, where they're not very good, and I believe it was that Anfield that Palace said what's up with Gerrard's last last game. But I mean, but you look at Chelsea as well. I mean, for Chelsea, it's just that Chelsea are so they're hitting form just at the right moment in time that I think that Liverpool are most likely looking at Leicester City to slip up. Chelsea because they'll slip up again. Football. Don't assume. I keep reminding people, never ever assume. The biggest mistake that people make in football is just assuming this will happen or this this should happen. And then you get shocked and surprised. Never, never assume. And so I think Liverpool are looking at less city to drop off. Because see, my thing is this is that I believe Chelsea will beat Less City twice. Both in the FA Cup and the league. I just feel they will. I mean, not, but I mean, if I was to have to guess, I believe they will. So for Leicester City, it's that game against Tottenham. And again, yes, Tottenham have got, they, they got a guy from the road managing them, but they have nothing to play for. And what if we're in a safe situation where Liverpool have won all their games, Leicester City lose to Tottenham, and there is now a real situation where Liverpool can now leapfrog and get that 69 that will then put them ahead of and above. Thinking. I'm just creating a scenario. 
Like, they, they may not, they may, they, they may drop points because there is no assumption they will, but I'm just creating a scenario. Like, let's just create a scenario, whether it happens or not, that Liverpool do win all their games up until that Palace game, and now there's there's now massive pressure on Leicester City, you know, to go through. There's also pressure on Liverpool as well, but Leicester City are like, my gosh, we are so close, and so forth, and that game at home, and so forth. Tottenham have nothing to, to play for. You could easily see them stepping up. So I do feel that there could still be more twists and turns. But my thing, though, is it would be crazy. It would be crazy if Liverpool, from champions to now Europa League, and not only that they were champions, the manner in which they, they won, the overwhelming way in which they won. Because that's we've seen teams who've gone from being champions to obscurity. Like, where did Leicester City finish in the second, in, in the season after they won the league? So... But just that, that Liverpool team was so good. They played so well. They were they were so superb. They should have even beaten Atletico Madrid in that game. To go from there to now, you're struggling and scrambling away, fighting with West Ham for, for top four. That's a serious fall. And for me, the whole Van Dijk, the, the, the injury thing is not an, an excuse, no. It's not. The reason why they're in this position is partly the defence, but not fully the defence. The reason why this situation is sad, Imani has had a horrible season. Firmino has been a no-show. Um, nobody else has contributed to goal-scoring-wise. The squad is thin, so nobody else has chipped in. And too much has been rested on Salah's shoulders. That's been the issue. If Mane and Firmino were actually on form and firing, Liverpool are not in this position. They're not in this in this position because you know how good that front three can be. It's not a case that where Liverpool have been conceded three, four, five, five, five goals. No. It's just that the front line has been garbage. But look, man, we'll see what happens, man. It's going to be an interesting photo finish in this um, EPL Smackaroni, man. But for Man City, Pep, tip my hat to you. See you on May 29th.